Welcome in everyone. I hope this video finds you well. Sorry, I've, I've been kind of missing an action for a while. I, I, I had a medication change and the medicine really had some side effects that really kind of floored me for a while, but I'm back. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the most recent episode. I know I did. Episode 8, it had so much... You know, th this episode had a lot of action in it. It was the most action we've really had since episode 4. I mean... Um, yeah, there was a lot of fighting in it, and I really enjoyed this episode. This part of the game has a lot of action in it, and I'm glad they really stuck to that. Uh, the stuff that they kept in was good. The changes they made was made made the story made the storytelling even better. I think I'm glad that we didn't get another bloater fight. You know, when Ellie and David have to fight the bloater, it just wouldn't have made sense because uh, the bloater in the show is so overpowered. I just don't think that Ellie and David could have taken one out. And uh, that, that was good, you know, it, it moved the story along. In the game, you have to have those kind of things because uh, you have to have something to do. But in the story, the story in the show, the story is moving the, the show forward. And, you know, I, I'm glad we got this, this scene here where, where Joel is questioning the man about Ellie, where Ellie is because it shows the level that he's going, willing to go to, the dark place that he's willing to go to to uh, protect her because... That is his job now. It's kind of like what Bill said. Uh, find someone to protect and, 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 you know, God have mercy on anyone who gets in their way. I don't know if I quoted that right or not, but you know what I'm talking about. And uh, so, yeah, Joel was willing to go to do whatever he had to do to, to find Ellie and, and keep her safe. Does this make Joel a bad guy? I, you know, I, I say no. I'm a father, and I, I would... <laughs> I would do whatever I had to do to, to, to do the same for, for my kids. And uh, that is how Joel sees Ellie now. This is another opportunity he has to to protect a daughter, and he's not going to lose another one. So, yeah, I, I, I understand Joel. I, I identify with Joel. I, in the show, Joel, and the game, Joel, are very much in line right here. And this was, this was a great scene. I really enjoyed it. I really felt that Bella was amazing in this episode. The the exchanges she had with David, and uh, this scene, she she did so well in this scene. I was actually, I mean, I knew what would happen, but I was actually afraid for her. She, you know, she got a lot of hate at the beginning before the the show started, and probably through some of the early episodes. But I think she's won most of us over. I mean, this, you know, these us diehard fans of the game. I think she's won us over, and the people that never played the game. Well, that's what. I mean, that's how they know Ellie, and I mean, so yeah, this is, I, th I think Bella did a great job in, in these scenes. I, I loved the the back and forth between her and David, and uh, I th you know, uh, Troy Baker, he, he did the, if you don't know, he did the voice of Joel in the game. He played um, James, that's James getting killed right there. He played James, and, and I thought he, he did a good job too. They gave him more screen time, they gave him more um, of a part in the in the show, and I thought he nailed it, so that, that was good to see, too. You know, we didn't get the Joel fighting his way through the town to get to Ellie, but we did get to see this where he finds her backpack and he finds the bodies that um, have been kind of devoured the their, their slaughterhouse, and uh, it was enough for him to, to find out they were cannibals and be fearful fearful for Ellie even more, uh, you know, not sure what he was going to find. So. You know, that that was good. I'm glad they included that. It it would have been nice to have seen Joel fighting a few more people just to get to Ellie, but the the episode was really fast. You know, not hurried, but it was just so fast. Like it was over before I realized that an hour had passed. Like it only felt like maybe 20 minutes to me, and that's good because that it was you know it was the action was there. It was it was really you know it was really in, engaging. The fight scene with Ellie and David was great. You know, at first they, they kind of portrayed him as this just good guy, this preacher who was, wasn't really the the creep that we you knew. You know, the people in the game know that he is. And I thought, you know, well, people aren't gonna feel as satisfied when he dies. Whenever, but you know, then they revealed that he was the cannibal. He he was the, the the creepy guy trying to to really pick up a fourteen year old girl. I mean, come on, you know. So I'm, I'm glad that. The, uh, they portrayed him the way they do in the in in the in the game, because he David really is a terrible character and he he does get what he deserves and you know I thought that the fight scene was done really really well. Um, like I said, it felt satisfying when Ellie 
when Ellie chops him up into tiny pieces. You know, it doesn't show. Of course, it doesn't show us what's left of him. But we do see that violent side of Ellie that, you know, that later, you know, if you know the, how everything plays out, Ellie's story plays out, you know that she, she does have to tap into that again at some point. But this was kind of, this was just, you know, a really, really good episode. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, a lot of action. And uh, we got to see that bond grow further between the two of them, between Joel and Ellie. We got to see what Joel was willing to do to keep her safe and get to her, you know. And we saw what Ellie did for Joel, you know. It couldn't have been easy taking care of him the way she did, you know, not knowing if he was going to come through it. And, you know, she had to have been terrified, but she, she, come, she came through it. And this right here, I'm, I'm telling you, the, the, the in in the in the game and the show whenever he calls her baby girl and he's there you know that 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 choked me up a little bit i actually i, I cried watching the show whenever he he called her baby girl for the first time because that's what he called sarah and this is really joel accepting ellie as his daughter it, it's just it was really you know to me it was just as a father of daughters you know it was just touching um i really enjoyed this episode it was so good, so good, and and now we're we're at the finale, so I'm excited to see how they're going to end it, but I'm kind of sad that it's time for it to be over. So those are my thoughts. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below, and before you go, if you haven't already, now would be a great time to hit subscribe, share, comment, like, all those things that help a YouTube channel grow. You know what to do, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.